So whether you're seated, standing, or even walking right now, bring your focus into your feet. And just notice the feet as they connect to the floor and feel that connection right down into Mother Earth. Just feel the support of the earth below you. And as you just take a quick scan up through your body, if there's anything that feels tense right now, just allow that tension to float right down into the floor and allow it to melt right down into the earth. And as you start to take notice of your body, bring your focus into your breath. Just notice the cool air as it comes in through the nostrils, the warm air as it comes back out through the nostrils. Just making sure that the breath is going in and out through the nose as much as possible. And as you draw that cool air in through the nose, I just want you to start to bring more focus into the body. And on the exhale, allow the body to even sink deeper in towards the floor. Just let everything melt right down into the feet. Now start to take notice of the pace of your breath. And just try to create more of a harmonious pattern between the in-breath and the out-breath. So if the in-breath is three to four seconds, make the out-breath three to four seconds. If you can stretch it just slightly to get closer to five seconds or six seconds, fantastic. If not, just stay with whatever pace feels most comfortable for you. Allow your body to really take notice of the pace of this breath so that you can carry this particular pace and this particular pattern throughout the entire time that you're exploring through the different intelligences. And on the next breath in, let's start to bring the focus right down into the heart center. And here in the heart center, just really notice that space within the heart that is your sense of compassion. It's your sense of empathy. And this is a sense of compassion and empathy for the people around you, for the world around you, but also for yourself. And whatever question you might have brought to this exploration, you can now just connect to that sense of compassion, that sense of empathy, and bring that compassion and empathy to the question that you brought. And here in that space, just take notice of anything that comes up. There's no need to make it right, wrong, good, bad. And it's not even time to make sense of anything that comes forward. Just notice the sensation you feel within that heart space. Maybe it's tight. Maybe it feels open. Also take notice to any type of color or any other sort of texture that comes forward. Of course, take notice to the words that come up. But really connect into the sensation of the body as you connect into that compassionate and empathetic place within the heart. The heart is also your place of your deep set of values within life. So again, whatever question you might have brought to the exploration, check in with how your particular set of core values relates to this particular question. And again, as you start to recognize that, and as you start to connect to those core values, notice what happens in that space. Really take particular attention to the sensations that you feel there. No need to make it right, no need to make it wrong, just pure awareness. As you're taking notice, just make sure that you're tapping back into the breath, nice even breath in through the nose, even breath back out through the nose. And on the next breath, allow that breath in through the nose to carry whatever sensation you're feeling in the heart, to just carry that right up into the mind. And again, just take notice first of this space in the head. Notice if there's any tightness or any tension, any pressure. And if there is, if you can just let that melt right down through the body into the floor so that it creates some space. 
And here in the head brain, this is our space that we tell a lot of stories. So again, take whatever question you brought to the exploration, or if you're just doing a general exploration, just start to tune in to what stories start to come up. What is the head telling? What's that beginning, middle, and end that it so desperately wants? And here, when those stories come up, just ask, what's the purpose of this story? What's the mind trying to do for me? Because each story does have a purpose to serve us. Even if those stories are hard, even if they're challenging stories, the purpose of the story is still to serve us in some way. Maybe it's protection from feeling a certain emotion. And as you tap into these stories, again, also take notice of the sensation. What's the feeling within the mind? Is there pressure? Is there lightness? Also taking notice to any type of color, texture, form that comes forward. And again, no need to make sense of it, but just taking notice of what that comes forward. Mind is also an incredibly creative place. It takes all the information that is receiving from the body in so many different ways, and it's that creative place that it can see a new opportunity, a way forward. And it can also be that command center that puts the body into action. So as you explore through the mind, just also being curious of what creative options might come forward. And again, let's just check in with the breath. So nice, even breath in through the nose, cool air coming in, nice, even breath as it is released back out into the atmosphere. And on the next breath, let's take everything that we're discovering through the mind, through the head and the heart and drop it right down deep into the belly space, deep down into that gut intelligence that it's our true sense of self that place that is so intuitive, it knows exactly what you need. So as we bring forward the question that we brought to the exploration and we just release that to our true sense of self, that place that is unaffected by the stories of the past, it's unaffected by the stories around us, it knows exactly who we are. What is that deepest, truest sense of self there in that belly space? What does it have to say? What does it bring forward? And often the gut intelligence isn't really loud with words. Very often it speaks in sensation, in that intuitive sense that maybe there's no words to, but you just somehow, you just really know something. So here in the belly space, it's super essential to tap in and really try and feel what is the sensation there? Is it full? Is it light? Do you have butterflies? Again, taking notice of any colors come forward, any textures, any shapes. And again, no need to make sense of it. No need to make it right, wrong, good, bad. Just anything that comes forward. Just take notice and be present with it. Our gut intelligence is also a beautiful place of motivation. So at this time, if you just reflect back to what you learned and what you discovered from the heart space, what the mind brought forward, what creative aspects it brought forward, you just allow that to digest with what has come up deep in that belly space, what do you now feel motivated to start to explore? What first step can you take to play with these new discoveries? Whatever comes forward, just reflect that back to the heart. Make sure that the heart is on board through its core values, through its sense of connection to other people. Check in and make sure the mind is on board with its sense of creativity. And then allow all three intelligences, allow the entire body to now start to integrate into one. 
It's no longer individual intelligences. It's one body, one energy working together. And as you just really take in the entire body from the tips of the fingers to the tips of the toes to the top of your head, just return your attention back to the breath, cool air in through the nose, warm air back out through the nose. Just take notice to the sensation that's working through your entire body at this moment. And on the next few breaths, just gathering a sense of gratitude for anything that came forward today. Because even if it was tough, it still brought you some new, fresh way of understanding. And I invite you as you bring your attention back into the room to just stay with the breath and let all of this integrate as you bring your attention back into the space around you. And as you start to take a step into your daily life, retain this sense of peace, retain this sense of calm, this sense of balance and presence. I hope you enjoyed your exploration today. And if you want, I'd love to hear what came up for you. So you're always welcome to reach out to me. Have a great day.